Dramatic video shows Ukrainian Su-27 flanker, dogfighting, a Russian Su-35 fighter jet in the skies Donbass. Fierce duel. Dogfighting, Ukrainian Su-27 putting up an intense fight against advanced Russian fighter jets. Despite repeatedly complaining about its less than adequate air power, Ukraine is reportedly putting up an intense fight against advanced Russian fighter jets. A Ukrainian flanker was recently seen engaging in close aerial combat with an unknown Russian jet. A video posted on social media shows dramatic footage from one of these aerial engagements, including a rare sight of the modern fighter jet firing air-to-air -air missiles in an actual combat situation. Video was posted by the Wall Street Journal's reporter in Ukraine. An incredible sight over a part of Ukraine accustomed to relentless rocket and artillery fire and little action in the skies. The breathtaking spectacle a Ukrainian Air Force Su-27 flanker fighter is seen firing infrared flares to imitate a Russian fighter jet firing an infrared guided air-to-air -air missile, or AAM. The flanker is seen firing two AAMs in the brief footage. Even though there have been a few close combat situations between the fighter jets of the two warring sides, a video purportedly showing a dogfight between Russian Su-35 and Ukrainian Su-27 jets. One flankers in a dogfight. The footage shared online does not show the targeted Russian aircraft. Therefore, there is a possibility of the aircraft in question being an armed rotorcraft or a drone. Even without enemy fighters, a Ukrainian aircraft flying at this altitude near Russian surface-to-air missiles (SAMs) would be extremely dangerous. Russia has reportedly deployed S-400 and S-300 air defense systems on the front line. The Ukrainian jet is observed launching two AAMs at the beginning of the video, at about the one-second mark, when a tiny dark smudge is visible surrounding it. Then, two fast-moving white dots that are then seen racing away from the aircraft start to separate and track on divergent, curved routes, most likely in the direction of their intended target, according to the war zone's assessment. The trails of white smoke showed that one of the missiles was following a tighter track. The jet then appears to be heading away from the missiles. Dogfights, a term used to describe close-quarter aerial combat between fighter jets has been a major component of aerial wars at least until the early 90s. Modern terminology for the same is air combat maneuvering, ACM. As significant as they are, such maneuvers are hardly routine in modern air combat, much less seen by civilians on the ground. From what is reported, a Ukrainian Air Force Su-27 flanker fighter is said to be deploying infrared flares to spoof an infrared guided air-to-air -air missile, or AAM, fired by a Russian fighter jet, which again isn't clearly shown in the video. As fascinating as it looks, I'd still be more interested in a more, perhaps clear video of the said, dogfight, for a better conclusion. Dogfights in the 21st century? Sounds too good to be true? Perhaps it is. Or maybe not. Two, Ukrainian air combat. The Ukrainian Air Force currently uses the MiG-29 and Su-27 fighter jets for high-end combat, both of which are controlled differently. For instance, the MiGs have been used for air defense and air-to-ground missions. Although the Su-27s can also fire rockets and unguided bombs, they are deployed as much as possible for air-to-air -air missions. 
The flanker fleet, which was already smaller than the MiG-29 fleet, has shrunk much further as early losses make the Su-27 an overall more potent air defense asset. The swing-wing Suhoi Su-24 fencer is another strike asset and, theoretically, the most capable aircraft available to the Ukrainian Air Force. The Su-24s have proven to be significantly more difficult and expensive to repair than the other jets, which probably explains why Russia isn't producing them in large numbers, unlike the MiG-29 and Su-27. U.S. Air Force representatives announced that discussions regarding allowing Ukraine access to Western aircraft such as aging A-10s had started. The slower aircraft, though, won't be able to compete with the Russian heavy-duty fighters, according to Ukraine. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said, Ukraine needed quick and adaptable combat aircraft like the F-16, not A-10s. If all goes well, U.S. fighter jets could soon take to Ukrainian skies against Russia. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a single-engine multirole fighter aircraft, designed as an air superiority day fighter. It evolved into a successful all-weather multirole aircraft. If you like our videos, please support our channel to increase our enthusiasm for making the next video content. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and don't forget to leave your comments. Thank you for watching.